Grain can be a major problem for many people, especially those with gluten sensitivity and celiac disease. So many are quick to blame glyphosate, the broad application herbicide that's used on a number of our grain-based products, uh, as a recent cause of the uptick in celiac disease and gluten sensitivity. And I don't, don't think those individuals are wrong. However, I also don't think they're 100% right. And here's some clinical evidence or research evidence that shows another mechanism of why we're seeing an increase or rise in reactivity to grain. If you look here, it says excessive nitrogen fertilization of wheat crops may explain the high prevalence of celiac disease. And what these authors and researchers go on to say is that there, since the 1960s and today, there's been a tenfold increase in the use of nitrogen fertilizer for wheat crops worldwide because it improves soil yields. In other words, it helps to grow more crops. Okay. And so if you look here, this study confirms that the per capita intake of wheat products has remained more or less constant over the last few decades although the concentration of gliadins, these are the types of gluten found in wheat, has increased. They believe that this increase is as a result of using nitrogen-based fertilizers. There's something about how nitrogen incorporates or increases the gliadin concentration of the actual grain itself. So this is just another reason why we may be seeing a rise in the incidence of gluten-related disorders, not just glyphosate, not just gluten itself, but the use of nitrogen fertilizers, increasing quantitatively the amount of gluten found in the grain. So the bottom line is we have to figure out a new way to farm. Using all this excess nitrogen, increasing the gluten content of the grains can't be the way of the future. We've got to get young scientists and innovators to make some serious changes. In the meantime, I would encourage you to either attempt to buy organic or grow some of your own vegetables to reduce your potential exposure to how nitrogen or excessive nitrogen in the soil can impact what you're eating.